Okay, so I'm back. I took a break. I went ahead and ate lunch because I was thinking that once I did like the special effects part of this stuff, uh, it may be difficult to eat, um, but I'm not really covering my mouth, so I just wanted to make sure. I've got a makeup wipe, and I'm just going to kind of oil off the makeup just right aside my mouth. Just because I want the latex to be able to stick better. And by the way, the two little special, damn, look how much look how red my skin is. The two um, like special effects things that I'm doing are things that I have not done before. So this will be up first. <laughs> I've got my big old thing of liquid latex. I'm going to pour it in this little um, plastic bowl that I've got here. And then I did, <clears throat> I realized that when I got my makeup and stuff, I didn't get like applicator. So this is just a sponge from like the, like the Dollar Tree or something that I cut up because that we had. So I'm going to use that to hopefully apply whoop, my um, latex. I'm just going to start over here on the right side. I'm just going to apply a layer of latex and then take strips of tissue paper. Oh, well, that's okay. And then Put it over. And like I said, this is not really a tutorial, but I'm just gonna quickly show you what I do first, and then like the rest of this is probably gonna be sped up because I don't want to. This was never meant to be a tutorial. This is supposed to be like a get ready with me type of deal. So yeah, it's better if the tissue paper isn't as thick, but that's the only tissue paper we have right now. So I'm just basically going over. You gotta put a layer of latex and then cover it with either tissue paper or cotton balls. I actually have both here just because I wasn't sure what was gonna work best. And then yeah, you just kinda keep covering the area. The more uh, layers you do, <coughs> the more thick the skin will look like um, that it's like been torn apart or ripped. six I think so or so layers I'm gonna let this dry I actually just realized that I need to go change my shirt into like like something that I can easily get off because I'm obviously not gonna be wearing this and so I'm gonna do that I also need to change the battery on this camera so that's about six layers I might do another two or three and if you want it easily <coughs> dry it so you don't because it takes a long time to dry <laughs> Okay, so I've got both of my sides and my mouth done. I changed. I'm just gonna do a little bit of blue drying to dry them down. They're still pretty wet. So I did about eight, I think eight layers on each side. I still got a bunch of obviously stuff left if I need more, but I'm just gonna dry them now. Oh, and if you are doing this, if you have something to do, this would be a good time to do it because these take quite a while to dry so I'm not gonna obviously be able to dry them all just by this because I mean even so this takes a good while to dry so if you have something to do this is why I started early it's like let me see what time when I started it was just like 4 30 uh 3 30 now it's 4 45 so we're not gonna go out until it's 6 20 ish 6 30 so we've got time but yeah this definitely takes a long time so if you have something to do do it now or if you want to like sit down and watch tv watch a movie or something do it now Okay, it's dry. It took about 10 minutes or so. So you want to take something that is not sharp, like a bobby pin or like a butter knife or like one of these little um, makeup spatulas. And what I'm doing is a Chelsea grin or a Chelsea smile. So I'm going to find where my mouth norm uh, naturally ends. And then I'm just going to kind of poke into the latex. Wait, uh, maybe it's not super dry enough. It might not be dry enough. But anyway, I'm just going to go back. It might need to dry some more. Cause that was about ten minutes. Yeah. Never mind. It needs to dry some more. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so once it's dry enough, then you're gonna just kind of take that thing and just kind of separate it. The idea is that you want like to be like if someone like took a knife and like slit across. I'm sure everyone who's watched horror movies has seen that. So 
definitely use something that's not sharp. You actually don't even need that. I mean, you can just kind of pull it apart. There's just to make it easier. So the idea is that these two here are, is like your flesh. Obviously, there are so many other people out there that you can watch that would explain this so much better. But if you are just starting out, this is how you do. And this is still a little bit slimy. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a blow dryer again. But once you've got it, at least you've got the... Um, and you don't want it to be kind of straight across. You want it to be jagged, you know, because your skin is not always going to be perfect. And you can kind of just move some stuff around. So the big thing is that you want to make sure that the ends of your mouth, it kind of is even. It goes all the way up. So I'm going to do another round with the blow dryer. Okay, so this is pretty much shot. I'm going to go ahead and just do... I guess the second part, I went ahead and got a towel and I'm gonna put it kind of all over my lap because before the latex, I am gonna go ahead and do the second part of like my latex thing. I figured I'll just do all the, the coloring in and such afterwards. So I've got some, uh, what are these, square um, cotton pads, cotton rounds, well, these are, are not cotton rounds. And then you kind of, I'm gonna fold them up like this and then I'm gonna stick them in the latex. This is the first time I've ever done something like this, so I have no idea how it's going to work, but... And then I'm gonna put it here. The idea is this is gonna be like the vertebrae in my neck, and I would like to do an exposed neck deal, so... We'll see if those work. Because that's the first time I actually just saw a tutorial for this like a couple of days ago. I was looking for other like zombie latex stuff that I could possibly do and I saw this and I love the idea of it. and I thought that you know it may be more difficult but then I've seen people who use like cotton um what are they called q-tips which actually I have q-tips maybe I use q-tips well I have saw, saw some people who use q-tips I saw people who like got like plastic white forks and cut them off and I'm like oh I don't want that on my neck but then I saw someone roll up a cotton round and I was like well that seems easy enough and it's not I'm going to like stab. Yep, there's a towel. It's not going to stab me in the neck, so I'm only going to do probably three. And the idea is that, you know, my neck is going to be slashed open and then these are my bones. So I'm only going to do like three of these, I think. Maybe four. I don't know. Again, I have no idea really what I'm doing. I'm just following videos. I'm very, very, very amateur. If there was like something before amateur, like pre amateur, then I would be that. Ooh, definitely need this towel. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to pile on some more latex to get that to stay. So yeah, I just love this. I think when you love something and you really are like passionate about it, it shows. So I'm hoping that that it'll kind of um, inspire somebody else who really likes this kind of stuff, but has no idea how to do it, to maybe just try it next year because it really is not as difficult as like a lot of like professional people make it seem like all this stuff that I got with the exception of like the actual makeup that I use like the latex and like the injury stack and everything the blood it all just came from spirit Halloween store and the gray face paint like literally just go to your local spirit Halloween store I did not use any kind of professional stuff in the this second one just does not want to stay in the future I, I think it's because it's like that's where my neck kind of bends in the future I would love to get like some professional like Ben Nye stuff or like a you know like the really good like uh, all full color like water based activated whatever paint um I don't think okay for some reason the, this second one does not want to stick real life all right I'm gonna sit back for a minute and see if it will kind of stick better if I just like that if I lay here, where's my bow jar? If I just lay here, will you attach to my neck? Pretty please. I'm gonna take a try to take the bow jar. Now this top one's coming up. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, all right, I'm gonna try <laughs> to do something else. Well, maybe I'll just do an exposed neck. I don't know. All right, I do actually have some Q-tips right here because I was gonna use them for something. I don't know what. But I want to see if the Q-tips will work as bones, maybe. I'm going to try to break these in half. Because these are smaller, obviously, and they are lighter. So, real life issues are real life issues. 
Okay, so let's see if, this, if these will work. It's a really weird place to do it on your neck. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I think I might just end up having to do like, just an exposed neck, cause where's that little, yeah, cause that sponge I was using was not working awesome. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the exposed neck, cause the bone deals, the little bones are not working at all. So I'm gonna clean my hands and then give this a good blow dry and I'll be back. And I can't even like stop the camera. <laughs> Okay, so the neck is dry. I decided that I'm just gonna go with the slit name and just do a slit neck instead of like an open neck because it's a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this on for trigger shooting. I might just do pictures. Anyway, so it is totally dried most for the most part. So the first thing you wanna do um, is you wanna take whatever face paint color foundation that you have on your face, you want to put it all over the latex because the idea is that these pieces of latex are your skin slit open. So obviously you want them to be the same color as your skin because your skin's not yellow or, you know, this color of the latex. So you want to co color yeah, the latex the same kind of color as your skin to match it. So that's what I'm doing now. If you need to kind of, you know, match it to your skin tone a little bit better, you can mix colors, but I'm just gonna use the same, oh, Kat Von D foundation that I used on my face. So that way it looks more skin-like. And of course you can use like any kind of a um, paint or anything that you have, you have like professional paint, definitely use, but you can use whatever you have honestly. I'm just going to make sure that this kind of matches me a little bit. All my contouring is like going away, I'm going to have to redo my, redo my contour now. That's okay, I don't mind. So once you've got that kind of skin tone, you can see it already looks way better and make sure you get like in there as much as you can yeah i'm definitely gonna need to redo my contour Oof. I need to redo redo some of that yeah. there we go i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the neck make sure it's all the same color so it looks like skin like your flesh I don't want your skin rather but you know you know what I mean make sure it looks the same two different tones of red I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker red and just like start putting it inside of the wound and this is yeah more like a, a blood red this one that was a little bit bright i'm probably gonna use it to see but yeah this is definitely a good blood red here as you can see it looks very sweet and you also want to take that on like the flaps so it'll look like yeah it'll kind of mesh so obviously if someone Slit your throat, you're obviously gonna have blood like going off of like you know pieces of skin and stuff. So just get some red in there and then I'm gonna try to take another brush. 
What brush can I use? This one, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of like this purple, and then put that on the um, yeah, more on the outer parts. some shadows and then I'm not gonna add the actual blood until like I'm ready to we're almost ready to go because it's like 5 30 right now we've got an hour but then I still gotta get Josh dressed and I gotta get my mom ready so yeah. after this I will um, do the blood and stuff at the end after this I'm gonna go get it. So I'm just kind of taking some of the colors, hey bud, and just kind of putting them down here to look kind of, you know, as if like blood had kind of like soaked through and it's kind of like everywhere. But this is just paint, you know, paint color so it's not blood. to eat so so far what y'all think good all right I'll be back it's like 5 45 I need to hurry because the Sun goes out I think like 6 20 something and I still have to get um I still have to get Josh dressed I still have to help my mom do whatever she needs to do before we go out I'm not sure she's not gonna dress up this year but she doesn't feel good but I think she does want to come out with us trick-or-treating so whatever she needs done I need to do so I'm just gonna finish this up quickly Kind of get this guy painted in, different colors, make sure the skin looks good and decayed. and I've also got the spray blood for like the end so I'm just gonna put this in the bowl that I was using for the latex and I'm gonna take this little guy and then this is really what's gonna kind of make it look good and gory and bloody and drippy and Halloweeny so yeah as you can see and this is definitely like you know gonna get like the right kind of color Yay, blood. And I'm gonna kind of smear some down my neck too because why the fuck not? All right, go bigger, go home. That's how we do it here. I'm just gonna kind of dab. Alright, this like friggin' tissue is like soaking up the blood. <laughs> what I want. I want the drip. Um, where's my towel? <laughs> where's my towel? Whoa! Um, color just flew. Oops. I don't fall. There you go. You guys can't see. Alright, I'm just gonna, you guys can't see my boobs anyway, so I'm just gonna tuck this guy down so that I want to do the drip. Wait, let me put the towel, like, kind of in here. So, there we go. That's what I want. I want the drip. And I want it to 
Yeah, dry before I go out. There we go. This is what I'm doing here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Exactly. Yeah, I drip. I need to um get um I wanna set up my what's it called? My like um oh my god, what is it called? Like my sh not a shadow box. My um Oh my god, my whatever it's called, my box light. In here I wanna take pictures before we go out. Softbox. That's what it's called. It's called a soft box. Let's see how exactly this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is like good and splotchy. This is just yeah. Oop, that's some good splotchy. So yeah. Woo, so I'm gonna take <laughs> I'll let this dry for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures. <sighs> what do you guys think for like a legitimate amateur, but I also need to do my hair. I don't want to tease my hair a little bit. I'm gonna let this kind of sit right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just <laughs> start taking out my hair. I think I have them all. And the goal is just to kind of make my hair kind of poofy and a little bit out there, you know. Almost kind of like Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses when she does the Betty Boop thing. Her hair is like really like big and curly. That was kind of what the inspiration between this before the uh for this oh my god what is with my freaking vocabulary this was kind of the inspiration for this kind of look was whoa i almost kind of look like captain spaulding a little bit kind of cool kind of cool so there we go that's my um there's my hair I need to take some pictures. Whoa. So I cannot remember if I did an actual outro to this video since things happened. I had to get Josh changed, I had to help my mom, I took pictures of myself, took pictures of Josh, took pictures of us together. As you can hear, he's ready to go. I will have actual better pictures up. It's starting to already come off a little bit, but this is the neck. These are the cheeks. This is the um, baby via House of a Thousand Corpses Betty Boop song here. So this is the whole look. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I should maybe um, do this more often, like next Halloween, actually try to like make something out of this. I don't know, just let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.